video showing some Nagi techniques due to some questions that arrived to our Facebook page. So, um, regarding the movement that is known today as Tomoi Nage, the first thing for us to comment here is that for our school, or back to the origins, this name changes. It goes for Ma Suwate Nage. Ma is from pure. Nage is, again, the same that we have today, or projections, throwing, and uh, suwate is to sit down. So just by showing you that nomenclature, you're probably going to visualize what I'm going to do. So uh, the pure form, it means that it's the first one. So when I just throw completely backwards, doing this pure line, pure throw backward, this is ma suwate nage. Other forms came, la came later as variations, as yoko suwate nage. So you're going lateral. Also, this yoko, as is a variation, we can also use the name kuzure, that means variation. So it's a variation for, for, that came from the pure form. They come from ma suwate nage. Also, we are going to discuss uh, many kinds of applications of this uh, nage, depending on the circumstances. But please be aware that this technique for our school came from an area of mountains. So the jutsu, study tries to provoke as much injuries, as much harm as you can during the falling. So normally we see some techniques of fracturing during the projection and also making the projection uh, in a more vertical angle in a way that the head or the neck will be injured while falling. Okay, so this is used to really harm your opponent when you go back to the history. Again, we can also visualize some very common circumstances where we have more than one opponent. Uh, so, depending on the geographic area, so especially if we go to the back of the origins to the mountains area, we're going to use the throw to bring the person against a rock, against a, a, a kind of obstacles that will increase the damage. Or I'm going to also control the direction of this throw for maybe to uh, avoid the, the attack of a second opponent or to slow down a, another attack that is coming against me. Okay, so that's our historical circumstance of what we know today as this technique. This technique also can be applied in many circumstances, as many arts. It's like a tool. So depending on what you're doing, if you're dealing with Jujutsu, or if you're dealing with uh, Onigomo, Komobito, or even with a Shinken, yes, again sword, you can use it. If you are watching our channel, you see that we have other videos showing with sword, or even empty hands just with impact. So let's check some of these details and let's see how to make it easier. So the first thing is that if I'm going to use the fracture, I can position my, my feet and only one, okay, only one foot, we do not use both of them. Uh, if it comes from a normal renkako, that is the common study or common practice of this, this nage, if I use the position on the hip, it's one thing, okay? This, the leg comes up and I position on the iliacum bone, the lateral area, to bring the person uh, down. Or I can also use with hisa, okay? So if I use it, I'm going to increase the nomenclature. It will be ma suwate nage hisa kaish. But the hisa is not only position. The thing is that it comes to fracture the knee while I'm falling, I'm sitting down and throwing the person. Now let's check the sitting down situation. He's heavy, he's stronger than me. I'm, see, I, it's very easy to, to see that he is much stronger than me. So I need to use as much vantage as I can. To do that, the first thing is that I'm going to reduce the distance. Because if I'm here, and I put it here, and I have all that distance with his body, and he goes backward or he does something, I'm going to fall, I'm going to get unbalanced. So I reduce the distance, and those, just the basic details, to position my foot on the area, and I'm going to sit down completely. As faster as I do it, as much as I harmonize with the falling, the better will be because I won't feel his weight against my leg on the ground. So just doing slowly. So I almost didn't feel the weight. Why? 
because the technique was fast enough, just like imagine that you are with a motorcycle on that globe, metal globe. If you accelerate, it has so no way. back to the motorcycle theory, we need to accelerate the movement. And now imagine that both of them, I mean the, the metal globe plus the motorcycle, they get together. They are just like one. So it goes and has no weight over it. Why I'm talking about this? Because that's what my opponent is going to use if I don't apply it properly. So let's come back to see the common errors or common mistakes on this technique. So please do son. If I'm here, as I said before, I have to become one with him. Yeah? So even if in the normal Renkaku practice, I need to get close to him and my leg is going to impact. Why I need this impact and then the throw? Because if I leave space, the first thing is that even if I impact, he can react. He can bring the base down and he's going to catch me. Okay, so I'll be, I will lose completely my advantage here. The other point is that if I start the projection and I do not go and bring him to move with me, he can change it during the falling. So imagine that I'm here, I impact, I'm sitting down, I reduce the distance, but then when I sit down, if I let it go, you see, he brings the hara down. Here he will impact, he will grab the leg, he will fracture my knee, my ankle, many other uh, possibilities on, on this condition. So I cannot give him that condition. The other thing is that if I start bringing him down, but my leg came too much against my chest, and I start the process and he jumps lateral, then again, he gains vantage, I lost, I lost the nage. Okay? And that's considering only the Renkaku possibility. Now, let's go to the other studies. This is from Renkaku, but normally, this is for Brexit, yes? Imagine that he's really now attacking me. And let's analyze it, how to get into that nage from different circumstances. So, if it, for instance, in Aiki Jiu Jitsu, he attacks me, and I'm considering that he has no protection, like an armor or nothing, what I'm going to do is, while reducing that distance, I'm going to grab the arm. Now, the internal area, as you see, is more vulnerable than the external area that sustains impact. So, what they used to do is that they grab the internal part of the muscle. This is really painful. Okay? So while I'm doing it, then, of course, I can position my leg and bring him down. Or I can even revert the movement to apply here. Okay? And then backward or lateral, depending if I'm applying the variation. Another situation is, uh, for instance, people ask, if it's possible, even with uh, some ashi uchi, or my ashi uchi or my ashi uchi, and how to apply the same thing. So let's just stop a bit to go back to the explanation about the, how dangerous it is when we have this kind of uh, mawashi uchi, uh, or, or any kind of even the my ashi uchi. Okay? So the thing is that he is strong, the leg is really strong, he's using a great contraction movement of explosion to provoke impact and of course as they used to really prepare the leg because in ancient times they used to get stronger on, on the, the tibia bone for you to break the horse's legs yes while coming against them so this is really powerful and dangerous techniques so the, the thing is that for us to analyze well how to unbalance or to neutralize this I need to go to the point where completely blocks the whole efficiency of the leg. And that point is the knee. Because he can be as strong as much as he can. If I block with the opposite hand, the knee, you see, that movement, that's the powerful movement is going to be blocked. Okay? So that's the area that I'm going to neutralize it. What they used to do is, of course, I'm using my opposite, or my, my opposite position to sustain this, and what they used to do after is to break his leg, sorry, <laughs> again, with mine. 
So after doing this, after damaging completely the leg, you can safely apply the projection. Please be aware that I'm, going, I'm not using it, but we will also use impacts against the face, the ribs, any kind of impact that can help me to uh, confuse him more to have time to apply it. Okay, so that's, that's the, the concern that you have to consider while uh, applying this with this movement. And now to make it more interesting, I'm going to also uh, ask the help of uh, Evans Romero from the United States that is here with us for them to, for, so I could explain and show you some details while they are performing the technique. Okay, so let's see for instance about the secondary impacts or fractures that is, are going to help the, you position yourself to apply the nagi. So, uh, attack any way you want, Ermi san, please, and Shidoshin Luis are going to apply secondary fractures. So, you see here the elbow is going to fracture, then you have particle, he can grab the neck, and even then he can position the leg in any way he wants to apply the nagi. So, you see, we're also seeing by the hip. Okay, so uh, once more another example, please be aware that Jiu-Jitsu use a lot of blocking attacks with the elbow because this, your arm sustains the impact, doesn't matter how strong the person is, the elbow goes. So you see secondary fractures, we have face, we have shoulder, and then you position the nagi. Okay, and this we are seeing only by the hip. Let's check some of them in place, Shushu with the, the knee that goes fracturing the knee and then applying the nugget. So you can use exactly the same uh, way of thinking. You will attack, it doesn't matter. Fracturing the knee. Grab the thorax. And then after the pressure, we have the nugget. So that's why sometimes you see two movements on the knee. The first one is entry breaking. The second one is protection. Thank you very much. And uh, we are also going to discuss here uh, a difference between the suate nage, mai o yoko o kuzure, with uh, another one that is the sumigaeshi. And the name that we call here, again, going back to the origins, is nami o kumo. There are two differences of this. One is the wave. When you apply the wave movement, the nami, it means that the projection goes just like the ma suwate nage, regarding and considering the difference of them. And the second one is when we use the nage to go over, to go up, in our opponent to gain advantage on the ground. So here the difference is the, how we are going to position. So please, uh, Shushu Luis Noguera. You see here, is we start positioning the foot here on the hip or breaking, fracturing the knee. So this is one thing. Now, the interesting thing about this, this technique is that I'm going to position my leg in the internal area of his leg. So I use actually now not only the foot, but the whole leg structure to bring him down. And the clean movement will be the nami. Let's see it. So it doesn't matter if it goes from Rinkaku, but please be aware that when I come down, I need to bring his weight down. Okay? This is also something to keep in mind. Why? Because if I'm here and I don't bring him down, he has his heart free to move. It doesn't matter backward or something, he will move. So when I reduce the distance in this case, and I bring him down, then I block his hip, I block his heart up. Okay, so here I'm not going to uh, say about the fractures or the secondary attacks. Just position the leg, and I have no distance, and I'm just going to bring him backward. And then I have the nami. Let's check the other one that is even more interesting because I'm coming with him. So, second one. It's the same considerations, I bring the weight down, I block his hip. Yes, doesn't matter what I do before. I mean, I could fracture, I could do whatever I want, but 
The moment that I get position to throw in, I go with him. So I'm going to sit down slowly for you to see. And I come here. Okay? As fast as you do, as close as you get to him, more synchronized will be the movement. So here is already I am in a new position for uh, continuing the technique. I hope you could enjoy this video. I hope this is a, it helps explaining some variations. Please be aware that you can apply it in many different ways with many kinds of strategy. Thank you very much. Keep watching your channel.